photon, the gluon, and then the Z and the W. Steve, can I ask you a question real sure. quick? Because I know you did a lot of neutrino research. Right. Um, something the kids are crazy about is the is the new uh, Einstein was wrong uh, results. They tightened the cables. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was excited about that except the physicists. <laughs> <laughs> It turns out that I, I work in a neutrino experiment in Japan that sends a beam from the east coast of Japan into the mountains of Japan. And we are one of two places in the world that could actually check that result. And I was at a collaboration meeting the week that that thing was announced. I was in Japan. And, and uh, so we did talk about it, but I don't think I ran into a single person that was excited. Well, I mean, we were all excited because it's sort of fun, but nobody thought. It's a really complex experiment. Yeah. Everybody looked at the paper, watched the seminar, and knew that the opera collaboration at CERN had, had done a careful job trying to do all the right things. And <laughs> can we turn it's the just camera complicated. Can so we turn the camera on? <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'd get to no, no, actually, I'll stand by that. As far yeah. as I know, they did a very careful job, and nobody knew exactly what was wrong. But yeah. It does appear. Uh, about a, a month ago or three weeks ago, they released news that they found uh, two things in their, that, that were quite right. So one was a loose optical connector on the, on the back of the GPS. And um, they, it, it, it appeared when that news came out that that might actually adjust their timing to the point where, where this effect will go away. Now, they, as far as I know, they haven't repeated the measurement yet with the Titan connector. And there are experiments at Fermilab and in Japan that will be duplicating. But um, I think all scientific revolutions start by being absolutely unbelievable. And this would have been very much unbelievable. I mean, basically would have said relativity. Either relativity is wrong or it could have, it, it could have been, a, 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 it could be evidence of uh, multiple dimensions that basically you have uh, you have some particles constrained to be in the three dimensions we know and love, and others that can can actually go outside of that. So, if in in in, in when you have sort of the curved space of uh, general relativity or whatever, you could have some particles that could cut across. And I mean that might have been one idea. So, if it holds up, it will truly be uh, a huge revolution. But I. I'm still teaching relatively. <laughs> and I have no intention to stop. No intention to stop. <laughs>